Hi, this video is to demonstrate how to add and attribute Creative Commons images within your learning experiences. If you are creating a skill snack quest or course, you might like to enhance them with an image or two. It is important when you use images in any learning experiences that you make sure that the image is Creative Commons licensed. For more information on this, you can go to creativecommons.org or you can complete our I Love Creative Commons course on Plain. When attributing a Creative Commons image, there is certain information you must provide. However, it does not all have to be visible in the attribution, but can link directly to the information. This video will show you how to do that. In your learning experience template, make sure that you turn editing on. Click the edit icon in the area you wish to add an image to. Now you need to go and find your image. I'm going to grab this one from Flickr Creative Commons. Select the size you would like to download. I'm going to pick small, 320 by 221 and then click download the small size of this photo. Whilst you're here, copy the license. Now return to your learning experience. To add your image, click the insert edit image icon on the bottom row of the HTML editor. Now click find or upload an image. Click upload a file and then click browse. Now you need to enter the author. The author is the person attributed as the owner of the image. Then you need to identify the license that the owner has put on their image. And click upload this file. The image description needs to be entered. A brief description of what the image looks like. You need to add the title of the image as it's being given in Flickr. Go to the Advanced tab and enter the title in the Title Attribute field. And then click Insert. It's best to toggle full screen so that you can see. And we're going to add in the license that we copied from Flickr earlier. Paste it in. Do not use right click and paste, but use your keyboard shortcuts or the browser menu to paste. It may paste it in with some spacing errors. Click on the attribution icon. and simply backspace it to make all one line. One final thing, you need to add the URL for the original location of the image to the image. So go back to the image location, copy the URL, return to your image in the learning experience, click on the image, then press the hyperlink button in the bottom row of the HTML editor, paste in your link, set the target as a new window and click insert. Press toggle full screen mode and click save changes.